Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Math Review for Wednesday, January the 13th. On Monday, we talked about odd numbers and even numbers, and today we're going to be talking about composite numbers. So remember, composite numbers have more than two factors. And one of the first ways that we can determine if a number is composite is we look for even numbers. Now, there's only one even number that is not composite. Can anybody remember what that is? It's the number two. Two is even, but it is a prime number, okay? So all of these numbers, none of these are the number two. So we're just looking for even numbers first because we're going to circle all of the composite numbers in the chart below. And then it wants to know which ones we circled. So we're gonna start with all even numbers. So 62 is even. 64 is even, so is 66, so is 68, and so is 70, okay? Those are all even numbers. They end in the ones place with a digit of zero, two, four, six, or eight. Zero, two, four, six, or eight. Okay, check all the even numbers. Then we check for multiples of five, okay? So we look for multiples of five, anything that ends, in a zero or a five is also a composite number, except for the digit five. Five is odd, or excuse me, five is composite. It's also odd, so it's both of those. All right, 65 has a five in the ones place. 65 is a composite number, okay? If I take 65 and I divide it by five, five goes into six one time, one times five is five. I subtract, I get one. I bring down the five. Five times three is 15. This means that 13 times five is equal to 65. So 65 has more than two factors because five times 13 can give you 65 and so can six times one. All right, so I know 65 is also a composite number. Okay, then we look for um, numbers that are divisible by three, okay? You can divide it by three, okay? And you don't have a remainder, all right? 63 is divisible by three. If I take 63 and I divide it by three, three goes into six two times. Two times three is six. Bring down the three. Three goes into three one time. That means that 21 times three is equal to 63, okay? I also know that 69 is div divisible by three. How do I know these right off the top of my head? Because I know that six times two, or excuse me, three times two is six, and three times three is nine. If you know your multiplication facts, this is super, super easy. Those of you who are still struggling with your facts, knowing what your facts are, that's why knowing composite and prime numbers can be a little bit difficult for you. Let's just look at 69. 69 divided by three. Two times three is six. Bring down the nine. Three times three is nine. There's no remainder. So now I'm just looking at 61 and 67. All right, if I take 61 and I try to divide it by three, three goes into six two times, that gives me a six, I bring down the one, there's a remainder, isn't it? If I put a two here, okay, I'm gonna have a remainder of one. Can't have a remainder of one if it's gonna be a composite number. Let's try with the 67. Divide by three. Three goes into six two times. Two times three is six. I subtract, I bring down the seven. Two times three is six. I have a remainder of one. That's not a composite number, okay? The other numbers to try would be seven. So I can go through my multiplication facts with seven, okay? I could also try 11, right? If I go through my multiplication facts with seven, I'm gonna start with seven, excuse me, I wanna do a seven times five. Seven times five is equal to 35. Seven times six 
is 42. 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times 9 is 63. 7 times 10 is 70. Nowhere did I get a 67 in there. So my, uh, my, my prime numbers, prime numbers, prime numbers are 61 and 67. Now, how else could I figure this out? Let's take a look at what my choices are here. In answer A, yes, these are all composite numbers, but they aren't all of the composite numbers. In B, these are all the numbers listed, but I know that this one and this one are prime. In C, I have 62, 63, 64. These are all the same, 65, 66, 67. I would then go ahead and look at the 70, okay? Here's my difference between these two answers. 70 is even because it has a zero in the ones place. Therefore, it's a composite number. These are all of the composite numbers. You also can fill out a hundreds chart like we did at the beginning of the year. I know Mrs. Corvin did that. And I know I did that also. You should have that glued into your math notebook from the first nine weeks still. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so you want to check to see if numbers are even. If they end in a zero and a five, which means are they divisible by five? Are they divisible by three? Then what's left over? See if it's divisible by seven. Use your multiplication tables with the sevens or by 11. Okay, please check your work. If you have any questions, please contact me.